was good. Yeah, Abiza's what's it like? Abiza's I, what's... a toilet. The city of Abiza is a fucking toilet. They got married up in the Spanish countryside, so it was gorgeous. Wasn't Ibiza proper? A B, it was not Ibiza proper. Okay. Ibiza proper is like Vegas of Europe. It's dirty. It's shitty. It's trashy. It smells shitty. And our hotel was in Ibiza Bay. And listen, this fucking Nobu joint's robbing people, first of all. But the they're hotel using, or the restaurant? They're using their name. Yeah. Just like Donald Trump over the course of the last 15 yeah. years is using his brand and throwing up Trump hotels. He doesn't have anything to do with the hotel. Yeah. He doesn't build it. Yeah. This is what Nobu's doing now. So they slapped their name on this Nobu hotel. It's supposed to be super nice. And there's a moment of it that's super dramatic and cool, but the hotel ain't great. We didn't even have service. a bed sheet. How's the service? We, if we, you call for something. I think my girl said the service was great. Okay. That part was fine. That's big. And when you walk into the lobby, it's beautiful. But the room is just schlocky, and we spent the extra to get the, like, you know, the stair, spiral, so spiral staircase up to the hot tub that wasn't working. Uh, like, it was fucking shitty. Yeah. And the city of Ibiza is toilet. It's it, it's It was terrible. Thank God Ethan and Amina got married up on this beautiful villa. It was like literally you had to drive 20 minutes up into the cut. It was gorgeous. Sounds beautiful. Their wedding was nuts. I wish I could have zapped myself into the chair mm -hmm. in my of suit. Of course, old guy syndrome, yeah. And then zap myself home. That's not life, but it's nice that you. Well, we got to figure that out. No, you're, you'll be dead. No, no, we got yeah, to figure that out, Banger, because I will travel and do a lot no, more I shit know. if that happens. It's the effort. The you know, these experiences are special because you have to work so hard to get there. You think that's what it is? A you little think? bit. So it's like the juice is worth the squeeze. Yeah. So because the squeeze was so gnarly. That's life. It, it made the juice all the better. Yeah. That's an interesting point. I didn't think about it like that. None of it was fun, but <laughs> None of it was, and there's a lot of that no, shit that's not good for an old dude. None of what? The whole process or the travel? Because the travel obviously is not fun at all. There's never going to, I mean, some t if you have a good person, you have a good person to travel with. The, so the I have travel. The best, I, I literally yeah. am like a piece of baggage. When we travel, she's got all my passports, all the things. She's got the bags yeah. packed. I wake up. I yeah. literally just have to get in a car. We go there. I look up. She's like, here's your, I mean, it's yeah. incredible. Good, great. The, unbelievable. Yeah. And I need a handler. Of course. And she likes handling me. Yeah. So it wins. It's yeah. a win-win. The travel is 11 hours to London. Then you get out of London and it's Heathrow. It's literally, there's fucking a million people in this area. It's the worst. Did you watch movies? Read? What, I, what's I your... slept for nine of the 11 hours. Perfect. It was in. I was so lucky. Then I'm like groggy. I'm rocking around. I, I'm not. I lost five pounds. How about that? You think you go away on vacation and you gain? I lost five. Now the travel wears you out. I'm sure there was walking. I'm sure you had good food. Then we're flight. Well, then we flowed directly to Ibiza into the toilet, and then we rented a car, which was money because everybody was like trying to get cabs and Uber all weekend, and we were just zip, zip, zip yeah. wherever we need to go. Yeah. It was all good. Yeah. The car was money. Big. Smart. And, and the wedding was so fucking nice. The wedding was amazing. Nothing else about it was great. I had to get into a tux. That wasn't a good look. You look good. No. Did you see the photos? Mm -hmm. I you look, look like I'm 4,000 years old. Nah. I looked fat. You look like a cool young Al Pacino. You're crazy. By the way, I highly suggest not getting ready in a room next to Hugo Boss models and Dior models because that does not help the brain. Right. I'm sure it would not. I'm in there I'm trying sure to get my not. tux on, and yeah. there's that Sebastian Stan character. This guy looks ridiculous. Yeah, perfect every time. And then there's the Chase Crawford guy. His, I mean, Guys, it, you could, and then Ethan. Yeah. It's just a, it's just right. literally supermodels. I will say you're a good looking man, but you're the worst looking of those. <laughs> it's like fucking getting yeah. together with four supermodels, right? Right. And they're all like getting the thing and they're tying the fuck. And there's like a whole thing Probably they're like doing. Look in the mirror certain ways. They're like, damn, different. No, looks they're like that all they know, debonairing they're each other in the mirror. Right. I'm like this is, and you're just over here at fifty, still needing to lose fifteen, going. Mm -hmm. 
I got to leave this play. I mean, it was terrible. Right. Yeah, that part was awful. Yeah, if someone were to walk in the room right there and see it, they're looking at those three guys. I'm the fifth guy like, oh, on the list. You're still here? What are you no, doing? No, I'm like the, I literally was like, are you, what? You, I was like the waiter bringing shit into these people. These yeah. guys are good looking dudes. They man. are. They are. It's not, it's no, it's no, uh, you know, you see people on screens and then you're like, oh, he's a good looking guy. And then you see him in real life yeah. and he's a fucking haggard mess. Yeah. These dudes are not haggard mess. Maybe to play devil's advocate. The hundred most beautiful people I ever maybe saw. Maybe you being in the room with them elevates how good you look. If you were just <laughs> next to three uglier dudes than yourself. I got news for you. These cats are good looking. Mean as bridesmaids are all gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I was the. I was the I was like an ogre. I was like the part the wedding party ogre. It was terrible. That part was awful. I fucking felt so bad for my girl. My girl is like just a, she's amongst the other hundred most these Serbian people. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met a real true Serb? They're all six four. Wait, is it Mina Serbian? She is. Okay, so I met gorgeous. One. Yeah, they're all cut out of stone. Yeah. The dudes are six four. They either look like tennis players, water polo players, right. or swimmers. So everybody around me is just beautiful except for me. And I'm thinking, fuck, I used to be beautiful. Yeah. And now I'm no longer fucking beautiful. And you could think to yourself also that the, all around, like, you guys are going to not be beautiful soon. You know? It, it, <laughs> they it, it are, just, though. These people are going to be even beautiful. Once they get the, your age. Yes. Yeah. They'll be beautiful forever. And I, there was a, there are people that are beautiful and then they hit a point and then they go south and they never come back. Right. And I'm that guy and I'm around beautiful people. I'm the sorry. whole, I mean, Jessica Zor looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. The the Nina Dobrev girl who's in that, she looked fucking unbelievable. Uh, Mina was, uh, Mina came down the stairs. I was like, who is that <laughs> Martian? That's how good she looked. Yeah. I mean, it's the awesome. dress and the, she just looked unbelievable. And then there's Ethan, and I'm like, these two are going to make literally Hitler's children. I mean, they're going to, like, make the master race. It, 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 was, it was fucking, that part was terrible. I did get to have a couple of amazing moments, so I. I okay. You had a speech, right? I had a speech. The speech went great. I'm a little hard on myself. I think the speech was an eight. It could have been a ten. There you had that of, one line you teased on the show. I'm sure you delivered it again. I'm sure that got. I some did, people. and then I was like, I don't, you know, I, I pre, I, I think I said something to the lines of the well, the, the only person who thing, and then I was like, this this fucking whole trip is like an, a bad episode of the Amazing Race. People laugh. Get people laugh. laugh yeah. People laugh, but not as hard as I thought they yeah. would. <laughs> you wanted more. I wanted more laughs. Yeah, because you, if you hear, if you're in a room and you deliver a line, you hear some laughs. You know that. So no, if you get hearty laugh. laughter, you just keep going in that right, lane. Right, right, but you know. Public speaking is a nightmare. Terrible. Dude. Terrible. I know that we're not really publicly speaking. We're just a couple of guys in a studio, and I and if I'm one on one with someone or two on one, yeah. I'm amazing. But if you have to, you get a crowd crack, and it get, then you got to start to gauge where the crowd is. Right, just like anything, you have to read the crowd. So I'm like, this is a bad episode of the Amazing yeah. Race, and <laughs> I'm like, you know, teams will now defend upon Heathrow Airport. It got more laughter. But oh, I think this it was is a, a little... big part of your no, speech. No, no, this no, no. little just seconds because I because you I, felt it wasn't working. So I tailed out of it. <laughs> Immediately, you bailed. bang bang got tailed right out of that part, and then uh, <laughs> when when and so then when you know when, the, when nothing when that isn't working the way that you think it's going to work because it was a little bit of an inside reference, the Amazing Race. Yeah. It's, yes, but yeah, because I don't know how many of those beautiful people are watching reality TV. I know the Amazing Race. Also, a lot of Serbs. Right, that's American television, right? So the Serbs were a little bit probably lost on that. Anytime I got a good laugh out of the Serbs, it just it got the speech cracking higher. Now, what Which worked not, on the was, Serbs? Family stuff. The Serbs, well, you know what? I really focused a lot on Ethan's family. Yeah. Because I... That's your experience. Ethan's my guy. Of course. I had never met That's Ethan's fair. parents. Yeah. So when you meet someone's parents, it really fits. It Everything kind of snaps together, if okay. that makes sense. Yeah. So you really, I kind of like, oh, that's the way Ethan is. That's why he's that way, like and that, that's why yeah. he's that way. And so I had a really amazing time hanging out with his parents. And his parents, they flew from fucking Reno, for Christ's sake. They were oh like five God. different legs to get to this wedding. And you could, feel, you could feel a little bit that they seemed, it, as weird as this might sound, you could tell they felt a little bit like outsiders because it's like all of Ethan's 
friends and family from New York that they probably haven't uh-huh. met right. or hung out with. Yeah. And then you've got all these Serbs that are fucking just crazy and drinking and Overwhelming. Always, always ready to celebrate yeah. life. And then you've got Ethan's parents who are don't entirely fit the you know they're they're conservative and quiet and smart mm-hmm. and clever and and so it I really gravitated toward really making sure that they were included in the whole thing. It was great, nice. man. My speech crushed. The fuck am I talking about? Yeah, totally. I fucking murdered it. You did, good, Greg. People are texting me like, "You hear Shane's speech?" No, you no. They had not. this great bit Shut on the up. Amazing Race. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got I I left. They, everyone had fun. I, I left about twelve fifteen. I went home. I I, uh, I had some nice sex this weekend. That's Chris, always important. That's the best. That blue chew really came in handy. By oh the way. wow! You always tuck in a little blue chew. It's easy to get anywhere. It's easy to get anywhere. Well, airports. They and don't I was care. Like, and I was like, you know what? I'm trying not to like. I, I'm trying not to. Trying not to throw up a donut, you know what I mean, for uh, for vacations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't ever really know at my age. So you just drop that. But go to that thing, bluechew.com, code Shane, because this yeah. shit works. Oh, I have no doubt it works. It, it really works. And you don't, what's cool, and again, we're not trying to make an ad right here. These are natural talks. These are well, natural. Well, no, it is. I popped the blue chew and what's things cool got fucking crazy. You, because to get the other pills, you'd have to go to a doctor. You'd have to sit, you'd have to <laughs> now do you a, sound like an actor. No, no, no. Ball. I'm just saying that's what's cool about I'm it. I'm just saying we. I'm we, not using it yet, but I'm, you know, saying. We're, we, we get paid by blue chew. They have an ad at the beginning of the thing. I just thought that it would be a nice shout out, a little in content. You got to go to this thing. Go because the shit works. It's a natural experience that you're bringing to the show. I'm not saying it. I had a fucking blast on that. You don't need to say hashtag ad. By the way, my girlfriend loved it. It was, and by this is the other thing. And I don't know if people understand this or not. Have you ever been around drunk people all weekend? And not be drunk and be the only sober person. Can't say I have. It's like a, a like maybe a one experience, two experiences. It wears on you. Yeah, I bet it does. It's not You're a easy. human being. It's not easy People being the only have sober guy. Too much fun. When they're drunk And when you're not drunk You're not as in on that fun Is that crazy to say? Well you don't feel like You're in on the joke Right And you always feel A little bit separate From everybody Because everyone is Drunk And you're not Yeah And there is something That happens when people Get drunk They get stupid They get annoying They over chat They over talk They want to really tell you How much they love you Yeah And I'm like bro I'm over it I don't need to hear about it How much they missed you I get it Fine Go be drunk and yeah. then I so there was a little bit of solitude in the Ooh. trip too because my girlfriend was having fun. She oh, was drunk course. all weekend, yeah, and had a blast and wasn't out of line. And right. wasn't, but you're just like, all right, you were you're drunk. You see him and you're like, I get it. I, how many fucking more times can I tell you I love you? How many more times? And my girlfriend has one of two modes: time to get the blue chew drunk, okay, or funny, clever, witty, cutting, little bit like feisty. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I don't like glommy drunk. And so she was pretty witty and clever all weekend. And then you got all these, other, and everyone's just kind of like, bah, 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 and you're like, fuck, all, time out. I'm fucking done. Yeah. I'm over here. Go hang out. Go do your thing. I love you. They were up in a room. I waved at them. I was like, I, I don't, I'm good just not having any more small talky discussions because it gets with people want to talk. And are when you sitting drunk. there in solitude, sipping water? Or are you on your phone? No, I had a pineapple juice. Nice. And then I'm just checking my uh, fantasy stats. At the wedding, I was engaged. Of course. I wasn't like on the phone or doing any of that shit. I was in. I'm just having lots of conversations. I get it. You had to crush this wedding. You're drunk. I'm not. That's all I should say. And the other thing is that people get really sensitive about them being drunk. They're like, I'm not drunk. Yeah. You're just being weird because you're sober. Oh, hey, I'm like, no, I'm not. That to I'm me. fucking sober. Bro, you're drunk. Don't say you that fucking to me. idiot. Yeah. Anyway, I had a nice time. It sounds like a really great time. <laughs> Let's get to your day.